Thank you, Esha God. Thank you, the great that I am. Thank you. I worship everyone. I bless your holy name. As many happy Sunday, happy weekend. Happy a new week. We are starting a new week today. We are starting a new week. We have entered a new week right now. You are all over the world. I worship you. I am that I am King of Kings and Lord of Lords. This is sort of grace. It's back on air right now. Wherever you are, viewers all over the world, this time is all an invitation. Please invite others, invite as many that you can able to invite. This is sort of grace. The I am that I am, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Please press the notification bell, share to your loved ones wherever you are, viewers all over the world. This is altar of grace. Press the like and love. I am back. Please, this is our channel, as I have said earlier. It is not my channel, it is our channel. Wherever you are, invite others, invite, invite, invite. As you do that, you and your household will never remain the same for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Eshadai. Thank you, the great that I am for the life of your children. Please share, 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 share. Share to your lovely ones, share to your viewers. Share to your friends, wherever you are. As you do that, your life will never remain the same. I bless you are highly welcome. You are highly welcome, my daughter. You are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. You are highly welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. You are highly welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are highly welcome. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are highly welcome. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are highly welcome. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are all over the world. Invite others. Invite as many that you can able to invite. Invite as many that you can able to invite in the mighty name of Jesus. This is altar of grace. Please press the like and love. This is our channel, as I've said earlier. It is not my channel, it is our channel. This is our channel. This is our channel. There are more, there are a lot of men of God. When you are telling them the rightful thing as a congregation. Was so anything you call yourself, whether you are a worker in the church, when you're about to tell them, most of men of God, they are right. A word that they're supposed to be using in members, or was so anything you call yourself to be in a position in the church, but most of them, most of some pastors. They like using a word that this is my church. But remember, a house of God is not made for anybody. It is a house of God. But there's no man of God 
that we stand on a pupil or stand in a congregation or stand in a, in a premise or in the church, that this is my church. There's no man of God. A church is not belong to man of God. It is house of God. A point of correction to any man of God. It is house of God, not my church, not your church. That is why I'm still using this same media, telling my fans, my lovers, viewers all over the world, this is our China, not only my China. It's not a China to altar of grace. It is our China. It is our altar, not my altar, not my, not my China. I can't do it alone. Most of men of God, they are fond of using that word that if you cannot abide to my instruction, the door is open for you to be out away from the ministry. I am not using challenging as a body of Christ that there's no man, there's no servant that owns house of God. House of God is for any man and woman that that is opportune to come that god or was so energy that you have evangelized that you have preached the word of gospel that maybe his soul is arrested a house of god is not made for any man a house of god you just watch that name it is house of god not your church not your house men of god it's a point of correction it is not your church, it is house of God for point of correction. But most of men of God, they always fond of using that word. That if you cannot abide to my instruction, the door is open for you to be out. A point of correction to most of men of God. It is our church, not your church. It is house of God. That is why I love using that word that this is our China, not my China. You are free. Was so any affliction, anything you are passing through, you are free. It's our channel. It's our altar. Anybody can. Do you know what is called altar? You yourself watching me right now. You can form an altar in your house. You can form an altar wherever you you bow down to pray to your God. When you begin to be practicing that set a thing continuously in a certain place maybe you created a chamber you created a place atmosphere whereby you'll be communicating with your god if from beginning of that moment you have formed and you have found an altar altar can be formed by any person any man there are a lot of different of type of altar. I explained it yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. There are different type of altars that man can be found. When a man of God is preaching that uh, altar from your father's side, there are different type of altars. There are altars of liberation. There are altar of breakthrough. There are altar of signs and wonder. There are altar of destruction. But I pray for you today. I pray for you today. May you live under the roof of altar of liberation. You and your household in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never worship and serve under a roof of altar of evil. I cancel and bind you and your household out away from every evil altar. It is the house of God. It is altar of God that we establish in your life. It is altar of God that we establish in the life of your husband. It is altar of God that we establish in the life of your wife. It is altar of God that we establish in the life of your children. It is altar of God that we establish in your lover one. It is your altar of God that we establish in your family. It is altar of God was so anything that your heart is deserving that you have been praying for. It is altar of God that will be a final say in your life. It is not altar of the devil. Altar of enemy can never prevail, can never establish in your life. It is the will of God that we establish in your life. Wherever you are, you are all over the world. 
It is the will of God that we establish in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Eshadai. Thank you, the great that I am. Lord Jehovah, son of David. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Today, Sunday, we are beginning a new week today. Lord Jehovah, we ask your will be done tonight. We ask your will. We will say anything we are going to learn, that we are going to hear for a few minutes right now. Let it be a word of transformation. Let it be a word of liberation. Let it be a word that will heal our soul. Lord Jehovah, I pray for a rain of joy to shower upon our life as many that is under this auditorium, under this influence of brokers. Every area your home is broken. Right now, receive a restoration in that home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any man here that is having facing every challenge of Marita was so any area that your heart has been waving. When a day have come, you feel like a human being. When a night have come, due to the night oppression, right now I speak right now to that problem, to that situation. Be liberated from that area in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free from that area. Every affliction, every nightmare, every night women, right now I burn them by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, tonight, every word we are going to hear, let it be a word of transformation. Every prayer we are going to hear right now, let it be a prayer that will lead us out, that will make us to testify unto the goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Was so any problem you came here with today? May the angel of God take a download away from you. Whatever that troubles you before now, may the angel of God take it away from you. From every accusation, from every attack, from every oppression, from every manipulation, from every fray, from every secret, plus of the wickedness, you have discharged and acquitted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you right now, viewer. From beginning from now, every door that we have blocked you with you, the grace of God by the angels of God have opened that door for right now. Doors for breakthrough right now in your life. Your eyes shall be open to discover your purpose in life. The love giving wisdom for purpose authorization, for purpose of fulfillment. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Anyone that will stop here, any great man and woman. That is stagnated. Any man and woman that is under affliction, any man and woman that is under confusion here, right now, wherever you are, that has no peace. Any man and woman have no peace. Any man and woman that instead of going forward, you are going back. From today, from now henceforth, you are discharged and acquitted. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are discharged. You are all over the world. I pray for you are right now. Whatever that you are believing God for, it shall be granted for you. 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 Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you here with a heavy heart? Are you here with fear? Are you here with torment? Are you here with trouble? Are we here with confusion? Whatever you are here with, that you are going to present to God today, as you hear the sound of my voice, you are all over the world, wherever you are connected from, from now on, from whatever that I have post here to your heart, you have discharged and acquitted. You have discharged. Every area you have experienced delay in your life, the yoke of delay is broken from now. Whatever the enemy said you cannot have, from today, I stand the platform of the solution right now, on the platform of the blood of Jesus, to say that beginning from now, we are angels of God, is releasing that blessing from you right now in your household. The angels of God is releasing that breakthrough for you right now. It's releasing that solution for you right now. Releasing that answer for you. Releasing that, that favor for you. Releasing that correction for you. Releasing that, that healing from you. Releasing that deliverance. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. You came here with sickness. Right now, I declare your healing. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are suffering for night oppression. You are suffering for hatred. You are suffering for bad dream. You are suffering from infirmity. You are suffering from attack. You are suffering from which kind of oppression. Whoever you are right now, receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge you are facing in your marriage, 
that your heart, marriage has no peace, every day trouble, every day confusion, every day hatred, every day quarreling, from today, that your marriage, that sweet, that marriage that wants to scatter you, your marriage is discharged and acquitted in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. Those your children that are having challenges, that have a problem, both in Nigeria, in abroad, in wherever, I pray right now, the angels of solution shall appear in their situation. The angel of solution shall appear in their situation. Shall appear in their situation. Shall appear in your situation. They are discharged and acquitted. Wherever you are, I pray for you right now. Anyone under foundational cause, under hope problem, under marine power, under demonic power, under adorative power, wherever you are, I am bringing you right hand. I call you by your name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, come out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out by fire, out by fire. You are walking out of solution, walking out into answer, walking out into your breakthrough, walking out into your favor, walking out to your head, walking out to your pregnancy, walking out to your hassle, walking out to your breakthrough. You are walking out, you are walking out, out away from your past situation, out away from your past situation into a better condition. To a better situation, wherever you are, you are solid for the one. I hear the sound of my voice. You are coming out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you right now, beginning from today. Every name of problem, the problem have given to you from today. An other name is coming to replace that solution right now. Rake Mesa. Every name that the problem have given to you, every name that have given you a labor. Every problem that I've given you a labor, and that name is come, another name is coming for solution. I pray for you right now. Every sickness in your body, I command you to drop right now. That sickness drop by fire. You sickness drop. You typhoid, you fever, eternal heat, diabetes, arthritis, stomach problem, waist pain, body pain, wet pressure, partition, passe, chloric cardiac, migraine. Eye problem, chest problem, body problem, whatever sickness, HIV, coronavirus, AIDS, whatever, I command your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you hear the sound of my voice, we are healed with this power. Be transformed into your body, receive deliverance. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed. Be healed by fire by thunder. Be healed. You are all over the world. You are delivered from that affliction. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your business that is going down right now. Right now. I call your business back. Wherever you are taking your business to. I stand at God's oracle. On the platform of solution. I call your business back. I rescue your business back. Your business is rescued right now. It's rescued. It's rescued. It's rescued. It's rescued. It's I rescue your business and your home. I rescue your career. I rescue your favor. I rescue your marriage. I rescue your pregnancy. Rescue your healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Mazika, give thanks to your God to your solution right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the name of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You, wherever you are right now, that desire of your heart, beginning from this tonight, it shall begin to manifest in your life. God will do it for you. Wherever you were caused, I break that cause by, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every tears you have been sharing tonight, from now, you shall share that tears no more. Every bitterness in your life, I turn it to sweetness right now. Every sickness you have been carrying in your body, I declare divine healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you today. I cancel every agenda of Satan against you, against your family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week, money will meet money in your hand. You will never lack financial favor. You will never lack financial favor. You're going out, you're coming in, shall be full of God blessing. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you today that beginning from now, every problem you have been having in the night, that in the night you can never sleep, in the night you are having nightmare, in the night you are dropping you, from now on, that problem is over. That problem is over. Receive your freedom right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that trouble your mind, from today, that matter is ended. Are you a believer of God's childbearing? From now, receive your pregnancy right now. What have you believed in God for? Beginning from now, may the angels of God execute that assignment in your life. You will never die. That is canceled in which for your life. That is canceled in your life. Right now, even when they are trying temptation and attack that lead to a death of some people around you, but you will not be a victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be a victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No death can take you prematurely. The God that caused me, that God will secure you. 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 God will secure you. And you and your helper, you will meet each other this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are free for now. No witchcraft that can oppress you from any more from now. You will never suffer witchcraft oppression anymore. Receive your freedom right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Eshadan. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, the great that I am. Thank you, I am that I am, great that I am. Thank you, Eshadan. Thank you, I am that I am, King of kings and Lord of lords. The author. Stretch up your hands. Begin to pray. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are. Physically, you are not here, but spiritually, you are here. Physically, we are not there, but spiritually, we are there with you. The first place to prosper is our spiritual life. <laughs> when you are enslaved spiritually, whatever you have, we resort to nothing. When your spiritual life is secured, blessing will follow attached to it. Breakthrough will follow to it. And the blessing must start in terms of life. Right now, any inherited bondage from your mother's side, from your father's side, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I break it by fire. I break that curse by fire. I break that affliction by fire. That attack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every inherited bondage be in from your mother's side, be in from your father's side. I don't care to know. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that evil. I break that evil. I break that evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release you from now, from every bondage, be in spiritual bondage, physical bondage, mental bondage. Emotional bondage, financial bondage, be released in the mighty name of Jesus. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be released. You have been positioned where you attach at the commitment of Jesus Christ. You have been positioned where Jesus Christ will be interested over your life. Begin to walk and live in a life of liberty right now. Begin to possess your possession right now. Begin to possess your possession right now. Whatever you doubt, break through right now. Wherever you step, break through right now. Whatever you say, break through. Break through in your life. Break through. Thank you, Eshadai. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Esha. Thank you, Esha. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, the great that I am. Thank you, the author and the finishers of every situation. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Esha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Esha. Thank you. My God, we worship your holy name. Spirit of living God, we bless your holy name. Father, we bless your holy name. Esha, die, we bless your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 God is working right now. He's moving for your sake. Glory to the Lamb of God right now. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to... We are going to take 10 prophetic declarations for this week. 10 prophetic declarations for this week. For the, for, the, for the week, for this week right now. 10 prophetic declarations right now wherever you are. For this week so that you shall be prosper over your life and your household. I like you to pray this prayer loud and clear right now wherever you are. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when the Lord turned against the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreams. The Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hakabul Masakri. Father, I want to thank you for this wonderful week. I want to thank you for this wonderful week. Thank you for this wonderful week. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Eshadan. We bless your holy name. Now the first declaration for this week, we are going to declare right now. I would like you to declare with me. Say, I declare the Lord cause his face to shine upon me this week. The Lord... To shine, God is shine upon His face. May God perform everything that concerns me this week in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to take that declaration right now one more time. Say, Father, I decree and I declare that you should perfect and you shine your fame of face upon me and perfect everything that concerns me. Now I pray for you. You that is listening right now, wherever you are, you that is watching me right now, I decree and I declare over your life that the Lord will shine his face upon you and your household. The Lord will shine his face upon you and your household. The Lord God Almighty will perfect everything that concerns you this week, this month, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare I prophesy into your life and your household, the Lord will perfect everything that concerns you. The Lord will perform everything that concerns you. I decree that the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you this week, this moment, this month. The Almighty God will perfect everything that concerns you this week, this month. This week, we are starting today. This, he will perfect everything that concerns you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number two. I am declaring into your life. I decree that all through this week, you will experience God's supernatural favor, peace and unity and joy. I want you to declare again right now into your life. I decree into your lives that all through this week, this month, you will experience God's supernatural favor, peace and joy and unity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare openly that whatever, whatever cannot be found in God will not be found in your life, in your household and in your home and your household. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to declare this again into your life. I decree 
that whatever that cannot be found in your life and your household, whatever cannot be found in Christ will never be found in your life and your household and in your home. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible said your life is hidden in the Christ and the Christ is living in you. Christ is God. Whatever that cannot be found in Christ will not be found in your life. Sickness is not found in your Christ. Disease is not found in the life of Christ. Disappointment is not found in Christ. Failure is not found in your Christ. It will never be found in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that throughout this week, this month, you experience God peace. God peace. You will experience God's supernatural favor. Peace and joy and unity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And I believe you will say a loud amen and sit on top of your enemy. I believe you will say a loud amen right now. Now, prayer number three. I want you to receive it into your life and your household. I decree and I declare that you will not experience failure this week, this month. I prophesy unto you, viewers all of all, I decree and I declare into your life that you will not experience failure this week in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that your experience shall be of God abundant blessing and favor. Let me decree and declare into your life. I decree that this week, this month, your experience shall be God abundance, blessings, and favor in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that whatever that you lay your hands this week, this month, shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you viewers all over the world. Your hands are anointed to do exploit. Your hands are anointed to do a great things. Your hands are anointed to hand over money. Your hands are anointed to receive miracles and breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that your hand touch this week, this month, it will be a blessing to your home, to your household. Anything you touch this week, anything you touch this week, it will be a prosperity, a breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number four right now. This week shall be your week of delivery. This week shall be a week of delivery. The angels of the Lord will deliver you and your household will deliver your miracle to your house. Your miracle shall be delivered to your domain. At all your heart desire, shall all your heart desire be must be delivered to you this week, this month. Every of your heart desire shall be delivered to you this week. I want you to believe this prophetic work and say a loud amen. Right now, let me say this again. I dedicate this week to you, viewers all over the world, as a week of delivering. I dedicate this week, this month, as your week of delivering. The angels of God will deliver your miracle today. The angels of, of the Lord will deliver your miracle to you and your household. The Bible says, The desires of the righteous shall be granted unto thee. The Lord grant you your request. The right, Lord God Almighty grants you your favor. The Lord God Almighty grants your heart's desire. The Lord Almighty grant all your heart desire. The Lord God Almighty grant every of your heart desire. Is answering spirit right now. Receive that miracle you have been praying about. The Lord deliver you into your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God Almighty deliver your miracle. That miracle you have been hoping for praying about. May the God deliver you to your house this week, this month. Receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it by fire, by thunder. Receive it in the name of the Father. Receive it in the name of the Father. If you are a single person, I am praying this prayer for you. If you are a single person, I decree and I declare that the Almighty God will connect you to your divine partner this week, this month. If you are a single person right now, you desire to be married. God will connect you to your wife and your husband this week, this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. 
that the Lord God Almighty will send a helper to you and your helper will, make, will be compared to do you well. Your helper will be compared to do you well. Your helper will compare to do you well and you and your household. Your helper will compare to do you good. Your helper will see you and they will help you. Your helper, you will locate your helper and your helper will locate you. I decree and I declare that this week, God will connect you to your helper. God will connect you to your helper. God will connect you. God will connect you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your God and my God, the God that you serve, the almighty creator, he will connect you. He will connect you to your helper in nothing east, in west, in south, wherever your helper is. The creator of the heaven and earth, he will compare those that are supposed to do to you and they will give it to you this way. They will be your helper. You will locate your helper this way. Your helper will locate you this way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer number six. I want you to say it louder and amen right now. I want you to believe it. We are praying for you right now. Prayer number six. I decree unto you that the wicked plan of the winnings, the wicked plan of the enemies over your life and your household, over your destiny, will not come to pass this week, this month. The wicked plan of the enemy, the wicked plans of the enemy, of the devil and his angels over your lives, over your marriage, over your academy, over your marriage, your document, your passport, the wicked plans of the enemy shall not come to pass in your life, in my household, the wicked plans of the enemy shall not come to pass. And the Bible says, anyone that dig a pit shall fall into it. If they dig a pit for you and your household, they will fall into the pit, the pit they have dug for you. If they dig a pit of faith, disappointment, pit of death, they will fall into the pit they have dug for you and your household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any man and woman that dig a pit for you, in the name of Jesus, they will fall into that pit they have dug for you and your household. Any man that throw arrow to you and your household, the arrow will return back to sender. The arrow will return back to sender. The arrow will return back to them. In the mighty name of Jesus. The arrow will return back to them. The arrow will return back to them. Every plans of the enemy. Every plans of the enemies over your life and destiny, your wife, your husband, your children, it shall not come to pass. Every evil gang up against your lives, we are all over the world, against your destiny, against your home, against your business, against your marriage, against your document in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel it right now. I scatter them. I scatter them by fire. These plans of the enemy, I scatter them. It shall not come to pass in your life. I scatter them by fire. But the Bible says one way they will come, in seven ways shall be fled. In the name of Jesus Christ, every gang up of the enemy against your life and destiny, against your family, against your home, against your business, your wife, your children, against your career, against your job, is hereby cancelled, is hereby terminated. It will never come to pass. I terminate it by fire. Prayer number seven. I want you to receive right now. I speak God's peace into your life. Receive God's peace. I want you to say with me, I receive God's peace. I receive God's peace into my life. I receive the shalom of God. Me and my household, we receive a shalom of God. Everything complete. Nothing is broken. Nothing is removed. Everything is complete. In my life, in my wife's life, in my children's life, receive the peace of the Lord. Receive the peace of the Lord. Receive the peace of God. Say, I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, I receive the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm praying for you. For any chapter go, that the home that is having problem, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be peace. Arrest restoration in that home, in that marriage. If you are having problem in your marriage, in your home, receive a restoration. And I command right now, every children that are behaving abnormally, wayward children, I pray right now, and I command them, the spirit of humility and the spirit of obedience, enter the right now, enter the right now, enter the right now. In your children is so wicked, 
if your children is so very stubborn, utterly waywardly, if they are acting waywardly, if they are acting a wickedness, if they are disobeying you, I command the power of God, the spirit of humility right now, and the spirit of obedience, enter them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in your home, begin to enjoy peace right now. Enjoy salvation, enjoy favor, enjoy mercy. Prayer number eight, whatever you are, I pray for you right now. Number eight, I pray for you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release fresh passion of the things of God on you right now. Fresh passion, fresh passion of the things of God. Your love for God, you and your household, we experience a new level right now. This week, this month, you will love God more. God will love you more and your household. You will love the things of God more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number, I pray for you. This week, this month, the Lord will cause you to be flourish. The Lord will cause you to be flourish. In the name of Jesus, you experience increase. Both you and your family. Both you and your husband and your wife. Both you and your children. You will experience increase. Increase. The Lord will cause you to flourish. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you right now. I pray for you today. That the blessings of God's word rest upon you and your household. Rest upon you and your household. I want to say this right now. It prophetically into your life, head is yours, divine head is yours, strength is yours, promotion is yours, protection is yours, increase is yours, favor is yours this week, this month, miracle, sons and wonder is yours in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to receive right now. I pray for you, number 10, right now. I pray for you right now. I decree and I declare that this is your week of joy. This is your week of joy. This is a week of joy. A week of salvation, of blessing, abundance, of blessing, miracle, fruitfulness. I dedicate you to God this week. I de dedicate you and your household to we. In the name of Jesus, blessing will come to you. Miracle will come to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, what other people are looking for will come to you. What other people are looking for, it will come to you. What other people are looking for, it will come to you. Comes to you. Comes to you in the name of the Father. Comes to you in the name of the Son. Comes to you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Both other people are, what other people are looking for you, looking for, they will come to you right now. From now henceforth, they will come to you right now. Receive them this week, this month. Receive them tonight. What others are looking for is going to come to you. It is you that money will begin to locate you. Receive it right now. Receive your miracle. Receive your blessing. Receive it right now. Now, wherever you are right now, stretch forth your hand wherever you are. Stretch forth your hand wherever you are right now. Rema Kaseke, Mazurema. That you want to receive a miracle. Stretch up your hand right now, viewers all over the world. Just say with me seven times this week. I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. This week 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 I receive my miracle. I want you to say to your heart, my heart, my hand is anointed to receive a miracle. My hand is anointed to, to touch good things this week, this month. My hand is anointed to touch money this week, this month. My hand is anointed to receive good things this month. I want you to say it seven times right now. Please say it right now. My hand is anointed to receive new things this week. My hand is anointed to receive new things in this week. To receive good things this week. My hand is anointed. My hand is anointed. My hand is anointed. 
My hand is anointed to receive good things, to receive favor, mercy. My hand is anointed in the mighty name of Jesus. Now place that hand on your head right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, my head is anointed. My head is anointed. Everything good will come to me this month, this week. My head is anointed. My head is a good head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every good thing this week, this month, will come to me, will locate me. Good things will come to me. Good things will come to me. This week, this is my week of delivering. This is my month this week. I receive what belongs to me. This is a week of joy. Joy unspeakable. Joy on every side. The Bible says, weeping may enjoy in the night, but joy come in the morning. I receive joy. I receive joy favor. I receive joy. This is my week of joy, month of joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Esha Dai. Thank you, the great that I am. Thank you, Esha Dai. Thank you, the great that I am. Thank you, the great that I am, Auto and the finishers, viewers all over the world. This is altar of grace. We bless your holy name wherever you are, viewers all over the world. We bless your holy name. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Echantai. Thank you, Echantai. Thank you. Thank you, glory. Thank you, Esha Dai. Thank you, Esha Dai. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shall we say thank you, Jesus, for all you have done in our life? Shall we say thank you, Jesus, in all you have done in our life? You are all over the world. Say thank you, Jesus. In good times, say thank you, Jesus. And in time not favorable, say thank you, Jesus. Always say thank you. God is the owner of all time. Somebody shout hallelujah to that area. People of God. This is the truth. Tonight is our adoration night to you. And I tell you, either Satan like it or not, your honor must be given to you this week, this month. It is when things like this happened, that is when people get blessed. Because the rain that fed, your distraction. But you that stand in terms of time, there's no way you will go empty. Somebody shout, I will not go empty. Somebody shout, I will not go empty. No matter the rain, no matter anything, I will never go empty. I speak prophetically unto your life. Everyone that rain or sun or breeze have touched, every problem you have been carrying in your life, that problem vanish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember, a rain or breeze or song will become a blessing to your life. It is coming directly from heaven. Whether the sun, the rain, the breeze, was so anything that you have been, that you have been afflicted right now, wherever you are right now, you that have been suffered, disappointed at the end of the end of breakthrough, you that suffer affliction. You that have suffered barrenness, you that have suffered hatred, you that have suffered limitation, you that have suffered poverty, you that have suffered oppression, you that have suffered rejection, you that have suffered one attack after another. By this visitation of this divinity, by the visitation of this tonight, I convert that man that suffering to end away from your life. By the reason of tonight. 
every man under this influence of this grace, in this adoration, under this open heaven, I speak over your life. Whatever they call family cause, whatever they call family limitation, whatever they cause family step back, whatever they call family oppression, today it is broken in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say it is broken in your life, wherever. It is broken in your family. It is broken in the life of your children. It is broken away from my life, my household. It is broken in your family. If you believe that, let me sing your amen. It is broken away from your life of your children. It is broken away from the life of your husband. It is broken away from the life of that boy, that girl. It is broken away from my life. Away from the life of my wife, my children. Every affliction break by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me right now. Hear me loud and clear. I don't much have much time for, to preach. But right now listen to the word of God. Whether the Satan like it or not. What God has destined for you and your household. In this hour, in this auditorium, in this broadcast. Oh my God. It will never pass you by in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me and loud and hear me clear. If you were poor from now, you are receiving a divine oil that will attract prosperity for your life. If you have been suffering for a long time by the visitation of this divinity, your life is receiving a transformation right now, wherever you are. You have got no one to favor you. Before now, you have got no one to help you in every affliction. You have got no one to love you. You have got no one to listen to you. But I am saying to you right now, as you are coming from now from this area, this prayer, you are going to have a divine encounter of favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said divine encounter of favor. I said divine encounter of favor right now. I said divine encounter of favor right now. As if you believe. Give me a turn around, hallelujah, right now. Give me a turn around, hallelujah. Sit on top of your enemy. Hear me loud and clear. In your family, someone is going to ask a question right now. I do remember when I built my first house, when some family relations, they visited my house, they were in that apartment while I was up, and they were discussing. They never knew once of my house help was very close. He said, how does it man make this money? Is it not many money ritual? Look at the house. It's so very fine, cute. I am afraid to sit. This kind of house, I have never seen this kind of house. But how does it get the money? Is it not, is it not all what they are doing? How does it happen? Ladies and gentlemen, until people begin to argue about your matter, your success have not begun. Until they began to argue about your matter, your favor have not begun. Until your breakthrough beat your imagination, you are not yet celebrating on earth. I speak over your life. As you are coming down from this area, this prayer, you are emptying into a wet of a usual. You are not hearing me clear. You are entering a new level of breakthrough for your life, you and your household. It's a new level, level of breakthrough in your life. It's a new level of breakthrough for your life and your household. It's a new level of breakthrough for your family and your household. Somebody say, man of God, you are talking to me. Somebody shout, man of God, you are talking to me right now. Wherever you are. Or till people begin to argue because of your matter. Your matter will cause arguments. In the race of the... So begin to quarrel. We don't know that time. Don't you know this man? The guy, the hustle, it, now God favor them more. They will say, no, we don't believe. No one can explain the blessings of God. No one can understand the blessings of God. You cannot come to this broadcast and go back the same again. You come. I am speaking grace upon your life. Because the angel God of fear is assigned your man matter. They are fully prepared to change your story. Fully prepared to change your garment. That garment of limitation right now. That garment of shame, that garment of step back, that family garment that nobody has come to pull away, beginning from now, that garment is disappeared from your life. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, I said that garment is different away from your life. That garment of failure is pulling out away from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that garment is pulling out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. That garment that God did not create with you, that reproach that God has not written in your forehead, that being over your life, that will make you fear three tears over years, that will make you to remain silent, where you are supposed to talk, you can never talk, because of that evil garment over your life. Come on right now. What, what money have not able to pull away from your family? I am telling you right now, in this very auditorium right now, in this broker's, angels of God is remove that garment away from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kamalezi, Asia Sakaso, I speak over your life right now. Angels are removing that garment away from your life. Viewers all over the world, you are receiving a new garment right now. A new garment of overflow, a new garment of crossing over, a new garment of sense and wonder, a new garment of breakthrough. Somebody says, Some man of God, you are talking to me. Somebody says, Man of God, you are talking to me because it is for you, because you deserve it. It is not your fault, but it is your time. Tell your neighbor, It is not your fault, but your time. Say to the other one, It is not your fault, but it is your time to shine. Say to the other one, it is not your fault, but it is your time to shine. Ladies and gentlemen, Judges 5, chapter 11, Judges, when you look to the life of Jabez, Jabez was given a battle to a harlot. Jabez, a harlot gave birth to Jabez. At the end, the father's children that were in the house, that were giving birth to later, they give up and they said to Jabez, you have no right over our father's property. They said, Jabed, now our father is where to be do. Go away from this. We know you are the first son, but you cannot stay here to share this word with us. They drove him out. That Jabed will not wrestle with them. He went to a village. I begin to plan a sign. I have this to say to you. Your breakthrough is a process right now. Your breakthrough is... Tell your neighbor, your breakthrough is a, source, is a process. God is preparing your breakthrough right now. Viewers all over the world, God is preparing your breakthrough. Wherever you are, God is preparing your breakthrough right now. Your God is preparing your breakthrough. It's under process now. After this program, after this, you are entering your promise right right now. After this process, after this process right now, you are entering your promised land. After this process, you are ent entering your promised land right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on right now, wherever you are. Jabek does not wrestle with them. He began to plant over his life. A time came. The city had problem. They went the elders to look for Jabek. They called him to come and fight for them. And Jabek said, if I come and fight for you, you will make me the head. This is the father plan said, you will make me to be the head of the city if I came to fight with you. But the, the land accepted. And they went, jumping to went to God and make a sacrifice to God and talk to God in prayer and pray to the battle. When he went to the battle, God gave him a jabbed victory over the enemy of Israel. When he came back, they made him the head of Israel. Not the head of the father's house, but the head of the whole children of God, the head of Israel. If the brethren have not driven Jabez out away from his father's house, he will not go back and become the head of the city. Whatever that is happening to you, God is aware. Tell your neighbor, God is aware of your matter. Open your mouth and tell your mother, tell your friends, God is aware of every situation you are passing through. When you go to the scripture, in Judges such a level, verse 4, the Bible says, in the process of time, in the process of time, hey, there is no one that not jump into breakthrough without no process. It was only a process. It was a process that bring breakthrough to your life. It was it's a process that bring that open your breakthrough. It is a breakthrough that brings a shining door to your life. It is something. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, right now. I don't know who is God is talking to right now. Whatever process you are going through. 
in this adoration right now, your answer has been located by grace. If I hear your amen, your answer is located you by grace. If say, as you are going through the process, I don't know the sign you have been seeing. Maybe you are the sign, sign of death in your dreams. You are having nightmare. You are having evil attack. No bother yourself. They are distraction to your life. Amen. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? You are not the one that sent yourself to this world. You were sent by God to this world. He knows the way the wilderness. He knows what you are facing. He knows the process of your life. Before you get to your breakthrough, I don't know what you are passing through. Forever, ever you are facing in this adulteration line, I am telling you right now, a certain chapter is ending in your life. A new chapter is starting in your life. Carabo. I say a certain chapter is ending in your life. A new chapter is beginning in your life. The chapter of failure is ended. Chapter of setback is ended. Chapter of delay is ended. Chapter of the sickness is ended. Chapter of poverty is ended. Chapter of no document, no passport, no womb is ended. You are in a chapter of breakthrough. A chapter of favor. A chapter of fruitfulness. A chapter of answer. A chapter of signing. A channel of raining, a channel of prosperity, a channel of breakthrough, a new chapter in your life. Somebody shout, I am entering a new chapter. If you believe, shout your hallelujah. Sit on top of your enemy. Listen, everyone, wherever you are, your background has nothing to do with your glorious future right now. Where you are coming from, they do not have anything to do over your life. Your family background, your modern family background has nothing to do with you. No matter what you go through, you walk in the dominion right now. You may be wounded in the journey. You may fall on the way. It is permitted because no one is passing any area. You may fall when you are in a stress, but when you are processing your breakthrough, the Bible says the righteous fall at seven times and what? Rise at a gain. You are not a failure because you fail. You will not be a failure if you remain where you fail. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. I speak to you right now. Every chapter I've not approved that you have been dwelling for a long time. From now, I close that chapter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That chapter of laboring in vain. That chapter of not getting married. That chapter of no step back, of no document, no passport, no food to name. I close that chapter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me loud and clear. Every book, every book have a chapter. Every book have a chapter. You have chapter one. You have chapter two. You have chapter three. You have chapter four. Chapter five. There is a message of the book. The real message of the book is not a chapter one. The real chapter message of the book is not in chapter two. But had chapter one have history. Chapter two have your history. The real message is not there. Chapter three does not have the real message. Chapter Chapter 4 have no real message, but the last chapter have the real message. Ladies and gentlemen, in this adoration line, you are in the last chapter of your life, where you are breaking into your breakthrough right now. Anyone read the book, want to see what the meaning of the book is talking about? Anyone read the book, want to see the end of the reading book? You want to see the answer of that book, the topic of the book is talking about? You keep on reading, keep on reading, keep on reading. Chapter 1 may not interest you. Chapter 2 may not encourage you. Chapter 3 may not, your chapter 1 may like me be bitter. Your chapter 2 might be full of sorrow. Your chapter 3 might be full of tears. Your chapter 4 might be full of disgrace. But chapter 5 might be full of humiliation. Your chapter 6 might be full of step back. But there's a chapter called chapter 7. Come on. There is a chapter called chapter 7. Somebody shout chapter 7. Somebody shout chapter 7. Somebody shout chapter 7. Somebody shout chapter 7. When God created heaven and earth, seven days, when God created the earth, which day does he have? Chapter 7 is the chapter that will be answered to your question. Chapter answer is the answer. You have the answer to your breakthrough. Chapter answer is the answer that have the answer to your wipe away your tears. Chapter 7 is the answer that have the answer to your marriage. Chapter 7 is the answer that have the answer to your victory. Chapter 7 is a chapter that have a 
altar that will break every area, every sorrow. I speak over your life in this adoration. As you are stepping into your chapter 7, you will experience breakthrough like never before. Breakthrough in every area in your life. Breakthrough in every area in your life. All around a breakthrough. Somebody shout and receive several times. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Receive it by fire. Receive your breakthrough wherever you are. People of God, wherever you are, it is not the time to begin to consider what people say about you. Don't consider what people reason about you. Focus on what God said about you. To corrupt, they say something to corrupt your mind, to discourage your mind, to make you feel there's no future for you. To make you feel that you can never get there. To make you feel you are hopeless in life. To make you feel you are useless. To make you feel life has overflowed you. That you are all ever free and adore project. But remember, Esther came from a frustrated background. Esther, Esther came from a home that had no push up. Her father died. Her mother died, her brethren died, only Esther remained when it was time to become the choose a wife. Mordecai went over to take over to be in his house. Esther has no money, he has no body. Life becomes a burden project. At the end, what happened to Esther? Esther became a wife of the king. Esther was honored, having a connection. Esther was honored, having a connection to have Epa, having no good dress to wear. Esther was honored, having no hairstyle to put on her hair. Esther was honored, having no good cream to rub. Esther was honored, having no good shoe to wear. But ladies and gentlemen, when the glories of God come upon your life, your life begins to be a different. In this broadcast right now, I see the glory of God coming upon your life. I see the glory of coming upon your life right now. It's coming upon your life. 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 No matter any distance, it's coming upon your life. It's coming. Somebody shall hallelujah. The glory of God is coming upon your life. You are all over the world. Your breakthrough is in the process right now. Your breakthrough is in other process. Never be distracted. As you are coming down, as you are hearing the sound of my voice. You are entering into your breast right now. You are entering into your answer. You are entering into your testimony. I see people in line up right now giving a, giving a testimony. God is a wonder, is working a wonder. God is visiting your life. Beginning from now, I decree and I declare. If God that raised from the dog here and make her to see the presence of princess, he shall locate you for favor wherever you are. I said he will locate you for favor. If you hear the sound of my voice, favor is locating you right now. Favor is locating you right now, wherever you are. This time is not a barrier. Favor and mercy is locating you. Somebody shout, I am the one. Right now, favor is locating you wherever you are. This time is not a limitation. When Isaac dug where well, they took him from their home. He dug. Why? Isaac was always getting water. But the Felicis, the Egyptians, they were not getting water. And there was jealousy over Isaac. But Isaac did not give up. Knowing his breakthrough is under process. He keep on. Don't give up. Was so anything. At the end, they left the well. When Isaac began to dig a well, he get a water. Isaac, when they were mocking, God prospered Isaac. More than every other. If there's anyone that has been rejected, if there's any man that's making noise in your family around your business area, come on right now. You are coming with another star. You are coming out with another star. You are coming under with another star. So now your breakthrough is going to cause argument in your family. Your breakthrough is a process right now. You is under process. And now, in this adoration light right now, the Lord God Almighty, I find you by grace. Somebody shout, Lord. Lord God Almighty. Lord El Shaddai. Locate me in your mercy. 
Locate me in your mercy. Locate me in every area in my life. Locate me in your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. It is not of we that we them, not of he that run it, but it's of the Lord that shred mercy. It's of the Lord that shred mercy upon your life. Come on right now. Where he did was located. That Martin Norman of Hannah, he was located by grace. The angel spoke to him. Gideon did not go to war. He went back and made a sacrifice to God. Gideon and went and raised a sacrifice, raised an altar. And the angel instructed Gideon on the kind of animal to use. He named the kind of seven years old ram, expensive ram. God instructed Gideon to use a ram. Before he now went to begin to put the idol of his father's side. After then, there was no single word that defeated Gideon. When you learn to sacrifice, when you learn to seed in the order of God, you are a basic bullet on the camp of your enemy. When you load the seed in the order of God, there are battles that can never be defeated over you right now. That battle begins in the order. And the altar of God will take over your battle. That is why in your dream, when you are a sick family, you learn to offer sick, dangerous sick to God. Why others are crying? You see yourself going high. When others are complaining, you see yourself climbing. But the word, the altar, is backing you up in every area. Pray for God to back you with altar. People of God, until God becomes your backup, that greatness can never be sustained. Or think God become your backup, that greatness will never be long, will not stand in terms of time. Or think God becomes your cause, the angels can never be strained to function with you and partner with you. Or think God becomes your backup, that victory can never be maintained. I want your revelation to be open tonight, that your eyes be open to this revelation that you need God in every area in your life. Somebody shout, Lord, help me. God became the back of Jetta. God Almighty became the back of Esther. And where they are coming from have nothing to do with their various future. Their family background as Esther have nothing to do with their glorious future. Esther came from a poor family. I don't know whether well, maybe you might have an issue with your marriage. That issue tonight is settled. Maybe you have been having issue in your marriage, but tonight that issue is settled tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you have been having issue in your business, in your ad area. Tonight in this auditorium, that issue is settled. Maybe you have been having issue with your finance. That issue is settled tonight. Because wherever you yourself see your mat of adoration, somebody say to yourself, I'm the altar of adoration. You can never be in this altar that you came and the way you came that you go home the same. You can never came to this altar, altar of grace. Moses never come the same. Moses climbed the mount, mountain as ordinary mountain. But when Moses was coming down, he became a different person. As you are coming from, from this altar, everything about your life will change. Everything about your life will be changed right now. Everything about your background will be changed. Everything about your family will be changed. Why? You are have an encounter with Jehovah. Somebody shout, I have an encounter with Jehovah. I have an encounter with God Almighty. I have an encounter with Jehovah. Do you remember Jacob? Where the angel appeared to, appear to Jacob? In the wilderness? When Jacob wake up, Jacob, Jacob gathered stone and raised an altar. And pour oil on the altar and say, God, if you guide me as I go and come, I will build a church for you. Man of God, they know the importance of raising altar. And the angels of angels stood on the top of order to sponsor them to, push, to protect them and fight for them. They were doing it continuously those days. When Joshua crossed the River Jordan, he was instructed. To build seven stones and raise an altar. Come on, right now. And he did it. And the battles, they were never defeated one day. 
Come on, ladies and gentlemen, viewers all over the world. The greatest altar you need is the altar of God. It's an altar of God, viewers all over the world. I don't know the area you're having an issue, but tonight, everyone present under this auditorium, you are going to raise an altar for yourself. In this broadcast right now, this altar of grace, come on, you are not just standing on ordinary ground. You are the altar of foundation, where you will be adored, where you will be honored, where the angels will be giving you a new garment, where you will be anointed, where you will be marked for favor, where you will be ordained for a new level in this life. Because God said, the blessings we are not achieved for the beginning of this year, the yesterday, but today, you shall be afforded to your life and your household. They shall be afforded to your life and your household. They shall be afforded to your life. They shall be afforded to your life. They shall be afforded to your life and your household. They shall be afforded to your life and your household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, Jehovah El Shaddai. This is altar of grace. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, this time is not a limitation. This time is not a limitation. Also, any affliction you are passing through right now, begin to lay your hands and begin to prophesy, pray. Proclaim every of your heart desire, every area you are in need that God to raise you, to make you to become somebody right now. This, there is power in this mountain. There is power in this auditorium. There is power in this broker. There is power in this channel. There is power in this auditorium. There is power in this broker. There is power in this altar of grace. As you came here empty handed, your life will never remain the same. You and your wife and your children, your life will never remain the same for good in the mighty name of Jesus. God will provoke heaven. Right now, right now, right now, God is interested in your case. God is interested in your case wherever you are right now. Right now, wherever you are, viewers all over the world, God is interested in that situation, in that barrenness, in your life, in every area of your document, your paper, your, of your visa, in every area that makes you to be in that prison, that custody, in every area they have dumped you, they have re recommend you to be in that deportation camp. Altar of God will speak for you right now, altar of grace. The altar will sponsor you wherever you go. Every area in your life, Every area in your life, altar of God will sponsor you wherever you go. I have seen right now, God in action adoration as a full of God's grace. I have seen God in action adoration ministry as a ministry that will rescue a destiny. As a ministry that will evoke many. As a ministry that will attract to many. As a mean ministry that will impass many. This ministry is a fertile ministry. Anyone to connect to this altar, you connect to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Anybody connected to this altar, you are connected to God. Somebody, I am self. I am safe to my next level. I am stepping to the man next level. I am stepping to my next level. Somebody shouts, I am stepping for the man next level. Open your mouth wherever you are. Rise your feet wherever you are. We are going to take this prayer. Say this after me. Jehovah my God. Jehovah Eshadai. Jehovah Jari. Every barrier to my next level. Out by fire. Out. 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 Open your mother. Pray. Every barrier in your next level. Every barrier that I'll be attacking your next level. I command it out. I come every barrier that I be attacking my life, attacking my wife, attacking my children, attacking every soul in this house, attacking my viewers all over the world to the next level. I break them by fire. Come out and die by fire. Every barrier, every barrier in my life that is putting obstacle wherever you are, come out, come out and roast by fire. Every barrier roast by fire. Every barrier to my next level. Every barrier in every area. To the next level of my wife, to the next level of my children, to the next level of my helper, to the next level of my children, to the next level of my family. Right now, what are you waiting? Come out and die. Come out and die. Every barrier break by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Every barrier obstacle break by fire. I can hear, I will make them to share in their marriage. I can hear, I will make them to share in your generation. I can hear the voice of God saying, I will make them to shine in the work of their hand. I hear the voice of God saying, 
I will make them to shine in financially. I will make them to shine in their business. I will make them to shine in your profession. I will make them to shine in your academic. I will make them to shine in their career. I speak over your life as God oracle. The word of God is here right now. That for I prophesy it shall come to pass in your life. It shall come to pass in your life shall establish. It shall come to pass in your life. Prophesy to three persons that it shall come to pass in your life. It shall come to pass in your life. It shall come to pass in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Esha Dine. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Esha Dine. Thank you, the great that I am. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, the great that I am, the author and the finishers of every situation. I, I speak into your life as God's oracle. There's no argument with God tonight. Beginning from now, a new foundation has beginning to you wherever you are. Claim it. The former's foundation has been destroyed right now. This new foundation is sealed with the covenant of blood of Jesus Christ. As you stand and manifest on this foundation, favor shall be yours. Good health shall be yours. Breakthrough shall be yours. We all over the world. Fruitfulness shall be yours. Open doors shall be yours. Answers shall be yours. Solutions shall be yours this way. Salvation shall be yours this way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you stand on this new covenant of blood of Jesus right now, viewers all over the world, we are, are assist to be no way. God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Inshallah, wherein you are being a disgrace among your equal, wherever, beginning from now, that all year of a new identity of honor, that all year is locating your head right now. Receive that all year right now. Receive it, that, that all year right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Victory from now on. Victory from every angle. Victory in the north, in the east, in the west, in the south. Victory right now. Victory right now. Victory right now. Victory right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, HHI. Whatever you cannot do for yourself, beginning from today, my God will do it for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you hear the sound of my voice, I pray for you viewers all over the world. Whatever that I be worried against you spiritually, from now on, I declare your victory over that battle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone traveled this week. Every blood sucking demon on the way. The angels of God shall clear them out away from your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every accident plan for any man under this influence of broken right now by the angels of God. That accident is cancelled. That accident is cancelled. That accident is cancelled. This month of October, there shall not be a death in this hour. There shall not be death in this classroom, in your member, in your household. There shall not be death in my house. There shall not be a disaster. I will not cry for any man. You will not cry for any woman. I will not cry for any child. You will not cry for me. You will not cry for my family. Victory is in every area. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Every dead plans against your life this week be cancelled. Well, Raliaza, Mazioka, Mase Prokeya, Le Mazeka Bosha, Rai Mazoka, Toria Bos, Yeke Bos, Mahusaka, Lehabosaka, Mazeke, Libraza. Maze Kamamia Kose, Mihare Zapaze, Maze Poke, Mire Bose, Mare, the Lord said, though the Lord said, those that came here with sickness, he said, Lord, said, I should tell you that sickness is terminated. Rale Maze, Tori Maze, where every area your business have been closed, be open right now. The Lord said, business favor have been open for you right now. Sira Maze, Mazu, Mazeka Poy Lanfeya, 
Lera se I hear God saying, every wicked boasting against your children, your household. He said, those boasting that be returned back to sender. Right now, Malezubia, Mazuka, Mazepa. The Lord said, you that have been suffering bad dream, nightmare attack you in the dream. He said, beginning from now, the arrow they throw to you in the dream is going back to the center. Is going back to destroy yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My feet, the presence of God right now, the Lord said, I'm going to make a way, my judgment day to fight for you on your behalf. He said, every wicked hand that be spoiling good things in your life, he said, from now, I will wither the hand in your matter. In the matter. Remo se kemra, libro kasoria, zamosan la every meeting of the night that is gathered because of you, where they mention your name, they mention your children's name, that meeting of the night, that meeting of head, 10 p.m., 12 p.m., 12 in the night, 1 a.m. the night, 2 in the night, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., right now, those that gather in that meeting, because of you and my eye, because of you, I release fire upon their heads. Marisa Kanda, Jemu Sakali, Ibrazo, Mazeke Mari, Areze Mosca, every death that is planned for any man under this broker, from any man traveling to from Benin to Lagos, right now I cancel that death away from your life. Ria Bazo, Maze Proleza, Yere Masare, Ye Maza, Maze Comedia. Every attack against any child to take that child away from the month of December. Right now, I destroy that attack away from that child in the mighty name of Jesus. Mashepoke Matare, Yuramo Zakeya, Zakaya, Mazekema, Mazokema. Those that are planned together to remove you what God has placed you. Those that gather together to remove you what God has placed you right now. I set fire on their seat right now. I set fire on their seat right now. I set fire in their midst. I set fire in their midst. I remove them from the planet of the earth right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Malezaga, Mazueka, Mare Maza. That womb that will be blocked against pregnancy. I speak to the womb right now. I command that womb to begin to have children right now. Begin to carry your children right now. Begin to carry your children right now. Begin to carry your children right now. Marazé, Mazato, Mazre, Malizo, Capoda, Zako, Patera. You that is suffering witchcraft oppression in the net. Witchcraft oppression in the net. They have used finger to design your body. Right now, everybody behind this affliction in your life, from now on, I command your exposure right now. I command your exposure right now. I command your exposure right now. I expose them by fire of the Holy Ghost. I expose them by fire. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom. Marase Kamosa. Mazuka Reja. You that the enemy have said, you will never get married. Beginning from now, I release your husband for you. I release your wife for you. I release your husband for you. I release your wife for you. I release your husband for you. I release your wife for you. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Siamu zalae zaka mazo pokaya rusabos kaliasa sabole pole himale zapoe you that is in debt you are owing financial debt right now I pray for you right now as instructed by God that beginning from now miraculously that debt shall be cleared by fire that shall that debt shall be cancelled. It shall be clear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Esha Dad. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Esha Dad. Thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Esha Dad. Great that I am, that I am the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The author and the finishers of every situation. Thank you, the great that I am. Viewers all over the world, we are about to end this program right now, wherever you are. This time is not a limitation. This is utter of grace. The I am that I am, the King of kings and Lord of Lords. 
We call it a day. We call it a night. I pray for God Almighty hand to release up His mighty hand upon your life and your household. Every challenge tonight that the enemy have planned against your life and your household, your husband, your children, every area they may plan affliction tonight. Right now, I break the power of the enemy. Affliction, go back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Remain blessed. You are protected, you and your household. I pray for you, be covered by the blood of Jesus. I release the mighty hand of God upon you and your household, viewers all over the world. This time is not a limitation for the right hand of God and his power. I release mighty hand of God to be upon your life. Your going out this week shall be a blessing. Your coming in shall be a blessing. You and your household, you are covered by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, children of God. This is altar of grace. We have come to round up. We have come to the end of this segment right now. This is altar of grace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, viewers all over the world. Thank you as many that have been in this broadcast. As many that have started with me. Without you guys, I cannot do it alone. Without viewers, I cannot do it alone. Please press the notification bell. Press the like and love. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Altar of Grace. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to our channel. As you do that, every reason, every hand that type subscription, that press like and love, that hand you are used to press like and love, good things will come out from that hand. In fact, from now, as you press that like and love, subscribe to my channel, your home will never remain the same in every area in your life. Blessing upon your family, upon your home, upon your going and your coming in. As we are starting this a new week today, the God blessing, the mighty hand of God, the face of Christ will be upon your life. The face of Christ upon your life, every area that you cannot make, that a way cannot be made for you, right now God will go before you. God Almighty will go before you in your going and your coming, in the life of your husband, in the life of your, your wife, your children, your lover one, in the life of your family, God will go with you and make a way when it's to be no way. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Abies, you are highly blessed. You are welcome, you and your household. My viewers all over the world, sharing, you are highly welcome. And, and Iman, you are highly welcome. You are blessed. As you came here empty handed, you will never go home the same again. God will protect you and guide you. Every reason that makes you to be in this auditorium, God will supply you with hundredfold. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, bless one Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Bye for now. I love you guys.